this project should be undertaken with parental or adult supervision to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. And then I'm gonna up as I was on the thing here, and then I'll put this video. Hey, Sammy! Whoa! What are you doing? Hi, Raj! I'm building my own garage! <laughs> and I made this race car! Are you serious? Don't worry, I can make one for you as well and we'll play together! Sammy, don't take offense, but as an experienced crafter, you could have made something. <laughs> Sturdier. I know, I know, it's just Sue left and she lost all our crafting stuff. She's afraid that I would make a mess without her. Anyway, plasticine is all I'm allowed to play with today. <sighs> all right, buddy, then plasticine it is. Come on, let's make you a nice race car. Okay, ah, oh, these are good. Oh, guys, you're already here. I'm here too, Raj, and I can't wait any longer. Come on, let's get started. Hold your horses! We should pick a car model first! Ah, I see you're hinting at something already! <laughs> yeah! Hmm, so we're going to make a Toyota Supra? That's an awesome ride! We can just start already! Guys, give us a thumbs up and we'll get started! So first of all, we're gonna need a lot of plasticine, but this one won't do! <laughs> this brick block is definitely better! <laughs> That's what I call working mode! <laughs> Guys, we're going to start with cutting a rather thin slice of plasticine from this thing. Please be very careful with the knife and watch out for your fingers. If there is plasticine, there should be a rolling pin, right? Actually, I might have a better idea. Where was it? Now this would be more convenient to work with. Shiver me chivers! I've never used that device before. Well, buddy, today is your lucky day. Check this out. Oh. We are going to do this a couple of times more, so that in the end, we get a piece of plasticine of about one millimeter thick. Something tells me that I'm going to be surprised a lot today! Do you agree, people? Then don't forget to subscribe! One more thing for the preparation stage. These are the templates of how our car should look from every angle. And here we have the same parts, just already cut out from a piece of paper. Holy cannoli! Roger, are you saying that our car will be that detailed? <laughs> you bet! Trust me! You're going to be surprised by how many tiny pieces we're going to make today. We'll start with the bottom part. Don't rush here, guys, because the cutter is usually rather sharp. And this is what you should get, guys. Oop. I think such delicate work needs a team effort. Tell me how I can help, Raj. I'm at your service. As you can see, I'm adjusting this piece so it'll have space where the wheels will go. Then you're going to need four-wheel arch liners. I'm on it! And this piece needs an original automobile relief. Oop. Guys, there's no need to rush during this craft. It's quite complicated, so ask an adult to help. And one more thing. Special tools for plasticine like these will really come in handy for this craft. You can ask your parents to buy them for you. Here we go! Great! Holy cannoli! Somebody was prepared! I wonder what the foil's for! The foil will not only make some car parts distinguishable, but it will also strengthen its core. Well, check this out, guys! Looking good, huh? And here's what I've made! Will you let me attach these pieces? Sure thing, buddy! We both are like car constructors today! <laughs> <laughs> well, just give me some time! I'll gain my slime speed to work faster than you! We'll see about that! Ugh, what takes you so long? And this is how this piece should look, guys! What do you say? What an impressive start, people! Wanna see what's next? Don't go anywhere! All right, guys, we're going to spend a bit more time working on our car's bottom side. And here's an interesting fact for you. Toyota Motor Corporation has been doing the Toyota Supra since 1978. The name Supra is derived from the Latin prefix, which means above or go beyond. See, you're not the only Wikipedia here, Raj. <laughs> uh-huh, but I seem to be the only one who's actually working here, Sam. And the underbody of our car is ready. Looks a bit like the blood vascular system of a human body, right? Interesting. Well, 
well done, Raj. And just so you know, I wasn't twirling my thumbs either. Check out what I've done. And by the way, single-handedly. Wow, great job, Sammy. This is cool, you know. It's all we need to build up the car frame. This is gonna be another meticulous step of this craft, guys. You're going to need a lot of patience and time for this. Or you could give me that, Raj. Sammy, come on. Ask your slime friend to apply some crafting magic. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. Wow, Sammy, that was quite a trick. Aha, uh -huh, nobody can say that Sam's not working hard. That was extremely helpful. Am I right, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you agree. Turn that upside down, Raj. What? Whoa, you even managed to paint it? Unbelievable. I assumed that we were going to make our craft bright eventually. Well, of course. Racing cars should be spectacular, right? Just recollect any movie about that. Like the Fast and Furious, for example. They filmed Super in it, by the way. Hey, I remember that. And this car model has also been a member of various video games. Hmm, I just realized it's been a while since I played Forza or Gran Turismo. I've got to catch up. Um, Sam, I have a wild idea. Why don't we finish this craft first, hmm? And then I'll beat you on a racetrack. I mean, the PlayStation. <laughs> You're too self-assured for a slime, Sam. Why don't you go prepare the pieces we'll need for the interior of our car? I'm on it. In the meantime, we'll finish here. Right, guys? What we need to do now is to make the body of our car smooth and detailed. I'm gonna use a special rubber tool like this one. Here we go. Phew, as Sam would say, Shiver my cheddars. <laughs> Guys, I totally like what we have so far. Do you? Then give us a thumbs up and stay tuned to see more. Hey, Sam, where are you? I want you to check this out. A perfectly detailed dashboard looking awesome. Wow, it looks so real. Just as nice as these Alcantara car seats look. Made of plasticine, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, Raj, I've been wondering, why do professional sports cars have fewer seats? That's because professional racers don't need to drive their whole families in those cars. <laughs> but seriously, they make racing cars as light as possible, so that they drive really fast. So they give up on many fancy details that do not affect the operation of the car. Ah, I see. And how many seats will our car have? I think our Supra should be a full vehicle configuration. What do you say? I say we better go with the black interior. You're right, buddy. Man, I can easily imagine putting my hands on that steering wheel. Beep beep. <laughs> but I'll stop daydreaming, because we still have a lot of work to do. I hope you guys don't mind me using a bit of craft magic to speed the process up. And voila! But I gotta do one more thing. Great! Do you like this, Sammy? I love it, Raj! As always! Now let's put up a few more pieces. Roger, please tell me that we've come close to the painting part. I've been waiting for it since forever! Yup, we're just about to deal with it. Guys, in order for the paint to stick better to the plasticine, we need to apply the primer first. Also, cover the windows of your car so you don't paint the interior. And make sure that you work in a well-ventilated room. Here we go. From now on, blue is the new pink for me! <laughs> That's something new! By the way, great job with the windshield! Now it's time to make some wheels, guys. An important thing here is to take all the measurements properly. Here we go! You wouldn't want the wheels to be too big or too small for your car, right? Just smooth out all the edges and don't forget that we're gonna need to make four of these. Look what I found! I think it's yours! Oh, thanks, buddy. By the way, I finished with the glass! By the way, I'm done here too! Hey, Raj! Why didn't we put the hood in its place yet? 
All right. You're so thoughtful today. We'll place it right here. Perfect match. Interesting. Shouldn't there be something under the hood? Like a radiator and a battery, some tubes. And a whole engine. Check this out. I've made this little guy in advance. Sweet, huh? Shiver me jitters! It's a total blast! <laughs> Thanks for that high appreciation, Sammy. Oh, yeah. I just have to check it out more closely. Who's with me, people? Let's do this. Me? What are you up to? Oh! Uh, ahem! Ladies and gentlemen! And you, Raj! I got inspired and did something to our craft! I hope everybody doesn't mind! Alright! Go on, Dan! Show us everything! Voila! A perfect design, incredible speed, and the most comfortable interior! That's all you need to know about this car! That's awesome, Sammy! What detailed work you did here! And this license plate! Love it! You know, now that we've practiced in-car construction a bit, I thought that maybe we could build a whole bunch of these! No, 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 Sammy! Come on! Bye, guys! I really gotta go! But how about making a nice little truck, please? Hello, everyone! Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pad! It's the perfect place for a party! So... Let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! Okay, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! We're gonna have a party, and look who I've invited. The shakes and scratch! He's so excited. All the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Let's get party, everybody party. Let's get party, everybody party. Are you ready? Scraps, it's great to see you, my friend. Now, what should our party be about today? <laughs> Not yet, Scraps. Let's see if the mini makers have got any ideas. Okay, mini makers, over you come, my friends. That's it. Well done. Now, have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. A steering wheel! That's right, this is the steering wheel on my car because we're going to have a party today all about... Transport! Yeah! Oh! Oh, hello, Scraps! Up, up and away in your beautiful balloon. Friends, let's go on a terrific transport adventure and make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Bright colours, stickers, glue, card, paper. Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. And in fact, that's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get arty at our party and make a brilliant busy road picture using brightly coloured paper or card to make cars and lorries. But first, we'll need some things from... The Game That's right! We'll need some brightly coloured paper or card and some stickers. 
bags of strawberry jam. Oh, doodle tube, I get it. This is traffic jam. Very clever, but not what we need right now. And we'll need a pen and a glue stick. All right, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in some background paper or card. I think this nice light blue colour will work well because this can be the sky in the background. Then we need to put a road on top. And for that, we're going to use this nice scrap of grey paper. And we're going to tear a nice long road. Be as wiggly as you like. There we go, that's a nice long road. Then we need to stick it down. Here we are. Oh, yes, this is going to look good. And down it goes. Now we can use some torn out paper shapes for the bushes in the background. Let's stick this down. Yes, that's looking good. And now the next one. Can you pass it over, please, Josh? Thank you, my friend. Let's stick it down. So we've got some nice bushes in the background. Now we're going to use some stickers to make the lines in the road. Next, we need to make some vehicles to go on our road. I'm going to use rectangles of card to make a lorry and a car. Let's start with a purple rectangle and stick it down here. Then add another rectangle to make the back of the lorry and two more for a car. Now we can add some stickers for wheels, windows and lights. We can even add some round stickers to make the drivers. And last but not least, we can use a pen to add some finishing touches. Draw on some faces. And it looks really good if you add some detail to the lorry. Yeah, it's all done. Do you like the picture, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm glad that you like it because now it's your turn to make your very own picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Oh, yeah! Time to start the art! <laughs> Emily has made a very colourful start here. What's this? A rainbow. A very colourful rainbow. And I like what you've done with the lines in the road. Is this a rainbow road? Yeah. And, of course, this is just a great start. What vehicles are you going to put on your road? I'm going to put two lorries on the side and I'm going to put a cart in the middle. I can't wait to see it, Emily. Keep making. And I wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty transport ideas? Let's find out. Leonardo da Vinci lived in Italy. He was a very famous artist and known for painting some very famous paintings. Oh, nearly there. As well as being an artist, he was also a clever inventor. Oh, yes. He was interested in flying, and when he wasn't painting, he would invent designs for machines that could fly. He was convinced that one day humans would be able to fly like birds, so he created a flying machine. It had a pair of enormous wings and space for a person to sit inside and flap them. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, Leonardo never built the machine and the world would have to wait many years for a machine that could actually fly. Or will it? <laughs> I knew that idea would fly. <laughs> Well, it's plain to see that Leonardo was a genius. <laughs> now let's see how the Mini Makers are getting on. <laughs> Q 
Mahira has made a really colourful start. This isn't just a road, it's a bridge. What have you got on your bridge? A car and a lorry. Who's driving this car? My mum is driving the car and my dad is driving the lorry. Wow, that's great! Your mum and your dad, but unfortunately, they're in a traffic jam. But the good news is, your mum can eat these things at the side of the road. What are they? Apples. They look brilliant. Good enough to eat. <laughs> it's time to take a trip under the sea to see Josh's picture. What's this in the middle, Josh? That's my submarine. A super submarine. And what have you got swimming around the submarine? Lots and lots of fish. Lots of different shapes to make lots of fantastic fish. <laughs> Marsha, this is a marvellous picture. It's out of this world. It's a spaceship going through space. <laughs> Look at this moon here. And what are these two things here? These are two very strange aliens. Yes. That really is brilliant. <laughs> Bonnie Lou has made a beautiful boat with lots and lots of coloured spots on it. What did you use for all the coloured spots? I used stickers. Well done, Bonnie Lou, and well done, Mini Makers. It sounds like someone is snoring. <laughs> Who is it, everyone? That's right, it's the shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three. Wake What are the rectangles making? Can you guess? That's right, it's a bus! That was fantastic, Rectangle! It's time to get back on the shelf! Yay! <laughs> Ugh, for the last time, Sam, I'm not going to shoot this. But why? It'll be cool. We can buy snakes like these, only real ones. Then we should rename our channel to Sam and His Exotic Friends. Hello, guys. We're thinking about new videos for our channel. See, once I do all kinds of experiments. And I want to shoot dangerous, rare, and exotic creatures. Guys, help us decide. Write in the comments which videos would be more interesting for you. Hmm, why don't we combine our ideas and do experiments with exotic insects and snakes? No, experiments like that can be very dangerous for both the animals and us. Have you noticed too that recently Sue has become too serious? Listen, let's resolve our dispute with the help of a car race. The one whose car arrives first will decide the fate of the channel. You know perfectly well that I don't have a driver's license. I suggest doing the race on a table track. Well, it's cool that we have these cars, but where will we get a track? I've got it all planned. Come with me. Don't worry. I'll win this race and we'll conquer the channel. Here, our track will look pretty much like this. Let me guess the materials we need. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. We'll need lots of cardboard and a glue gun. 
Okay, let's start with two pieces of cardboard of this kind. Hey, why is it so soft? It doesn't hold the shape at all. Our track will have turns and different levels, so this will help us make smooth passages. I'll cope with any turns. There, we've got the borders. They'll prevent our cars from flying off the track. Now we need a cardboard piece of this shape. I'd say it's rather shapeless. Let's make marks here. And glue the borders outside those marks. Glue it really well. I don't want any confusion during the race. Okay, Mr. Careful. <laughs> there, I glued the borders here already. Sam, could you please bring me a small piece of cardboard? Ugh, nothing works without Sam. Right, let's start making the legs. First, I'm applying glue here. And now, roll it, forming a tube. We need three tubes of this kind. We'll place them right here. Perfect! Let's check its stability! Sam, it's made of cardboard! Be careful! Wow! Our track will have such sharp turns! Huh. By the way, Sam, do you know traffic laws? There's nothing to know. Everything is clear. Well, well, how will you participate in the race then? All right, I'm going to read your traffic laws. <laughs> While Sam is reading the laws, we'll start assembling our track. Here we've got two big pieces ready. And now I need more cardboard. Don't go anywhere. Traffic laws, traffic laws. We'll need them anyway if the track is made out of cardboard. Right, let's continue building the track. It's very easy. Just follow the draft. Do I've learned all the road signs. I'm ready for the race. Yeah? How can we check that? Here, look! This sign forbids to eat sweets while driving. <laughs> what a funny sign! When did you invent it? <laughs> I have a good imagination. <laughs> Plus, we don't need real signs for a cardboard track. <laughs> You're right. I like your road signs. Thank you, thank you. I tried my best for you. Meanwhile, we've already constructed half a track. Look, it's so cool! What if we make obstacles with my toy insects on the track? Ugh, you're still trying to add a bit of exotic creatures to our video. Let's decide the fate of the channel after the race. But I'll win anyway. Why waste time? Oh, I didn't expect our track to be so big. <laughs> Okay, don't worry, let me help you. Smear the glue. No, we can't just smear it. We should do everything carefully. Guys, did you write in the comments the topics for the videos you like the most? Maybe you'd like to see more cardboard crafts. Sam, I totally forgot to ask you. Um, vroom, vroom. not to overtake you at the first turn? <laughs> <laughs> no, we need arrows for the track. Can you help? I am awaiting your clear instructions, color, size, quantity. I totally rely on you, because you're a professional. No worries. We'll be done at its finest. Wow, the track is coming out so complicated, but so cool. Guys, do you like my idea with this race? Give a thumbs up if you do. And write in the comments, how do you resolve arguments with your friends? Right! I have everything ready. Great! Our track is ready, too. Let's place the arrows right away. The most beautiful arrow should be here. Sam, <laughs> they're all the same. Maybe just for you, but for me, every one of them is special. I spent a whole hour making them. Okay, okay. I feel ya. I also made this sign. Hmm, cool. I also prepared one. <laughs> That's strange. Why magic? Mm, you'll see later. All right, let's use yours. Perfect. Now our track is 100% ready. Great, so let's start our cars.
strange way. So what's the matter? I told you it's a magic track. There's no winners and no losers. Watch carefully. So, friendship wins? Right, Sammy. Guys, it seems there's no winners and losers today. But I'm glad. Sue, I think your idea with experiments is very cool. Let's stick with it. And we can use exotic insects and snakes later in the future. animals at least sometimes. Well, I even know which one! <laughs> Sam, you're one of a kind. Guys, did you like our magic track? Give a thumbs up if you did. And leave comments with ideas for new videos. Bye-bye! <laughs>
I believe that is the main reason why there were no slime skiers so far. <laughs> you know, I feel really connected to nature right now. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Will you help me with the trees then? I'm on it. Ah, uh, be right back in a sec. This is pretty amusing. I'm becoming an expert in this. Well, what do you say? I say we both are doing a really good job. Let's hope our Barbie will appreciate it too. Uh-huh, and this goes here. I'm a little bit tired from all the work. Can we take a break? But we've got a party to go to, remember? So no breaks and more little circles. You mean like these? It feels like I'm having chicken pox. All right, let's make this tree alive. Whew, that was fast. And I made a few clouds to make our picturesque view here even more beautiful. I guess the last step is to frame our picture. You're absolutely right. Here we go. It, it would have looked so good in my room. Hey, it's for Barbie, remember? Come on, we need to make more. What? I have an idea for another gift. A real showstopper. You can count on me. Now, where was it? Uh-huh. Nope. I found it. Ugh. This thing is mixed, Sue. Now we will take this canvas and your brush with glue. Allow me. And we'll do like this. Hey, Sam. Yeah? Could you bring some paper? Here you go. It's tissue paper, and I need for painting. You could have said that. Is this better? Yep, thanks. So, Susie, what is it going to be? I can't tell you just yet, Sammy. Let it stay a surprise for a while. Ah, this color reminds me of the beautiful sea. And this water will remind you of it even more. Now, we'll tear the tissue paper into small pieces and soak it really well. cloud or cotton candy mm. I don't think you want to eat this why didn't you tell me that sooner Sue okay let's add color to it otherwise it's going to look pretty boring I can't wait to see what this is going to be no 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 Awesome. You deserve a big like from all our friends. Haha, uh -huh, thanks. I can see now what this is, Suzanne. May I add a little detail? Of course, be my guest. Ah, this is going to be, how do you say it? Amazing. Wow, it looks great already, but better shape it like a petal. What a wonderful idea. How do you think of these things? I'm just reading off our script. Sue, you're ruining our secret. The viewers don't need to know that. Oopsie, my bad. So, are we done there already? Yes, and it turned just perfect. Barbie will be so surprised with our gifts. I wish someone at least once brought me flowers like these. <laughs> oh, Sammy, you're such a sweetheart. I know! Okay, Susan, this is my time to shine. I have a great idea that's going to blow all the other gifts away. My, my, how confident. What are we doing? I'm ready to help. Uh, we're going to need these paints, Sue, and something else. I'll be right back. Okay, this time we have traditional materials like the acrylic paints and a painting knife. We can create something magical with them, too, like a 3D painting. Thanks, Sam. 3D painting? Do we need special glasses to see it? Nope. Just your crafting skills and a tiny bit of imagination. Squeeze out the paints. All right, you've sold me the idea. Let's do it. Friends, check out this vibrant color. And the paint is so thick. And it's great fitness training. I can actually sell it as a fitness machine. Ha ha, but it works for slimes only. Anyway, let's use as many colors as we have. Wow, it's almost like a rainbow. Get ready. Slick Sam is going to share with you a secret technique for a simple 3D painting. Wow. I love the start. Now let's pick colors. Okay, let me think. This one 
It looks so pretty. I'll go with another hue then. Look closer. It's the most important part. Smear the paint with the backside of the knife. Like this. You're doing great. Whoa, I guess it's not enough. It's all right. Just take a little more, like me. Now I'm ready to get started. Let's hope I'll do it right. Just put the painting knife down and push it to the canvas. Got it. Congratulations, Susie. It's your first 3D smudge. Keep going. Now I'm unstoppable. I want more. Okay, that's enough. Let's switch the hue. You can take mine. Let's push down again and smear the paint. Woo! I call this the Sam technique. Just slap it on and hope for the best. It really works, friends. You should try. Sue, it's time to change the color again. Let's take a random color this time. I choose you. What do you think, Sammy? It's so creative. We should have done it a long time ago. Sue, how is it going? Great. And check this out. It's like one more painting on the palette. It's a new wave in modern art. Would be impossible without the Sam technique. I am almost done here. You're not even close. It's just the first step. Really? Then what's next? We're gonna try this magic cotton swab. Da Vinci himself would be jealous of it. You will be drying out here, and we'll keep going. Hmm. I think we should make something floral again. Then make pick, and I will choose the background color. Give me a second. Maybe I should pick these with white petals. Okay. The background should match the white color then. Great! Or should I choose the red poppies? Red? Okay, we'll go with red then. Nope, I've changed my mind. Let's paint pretty pink roses. Pink! I got it! Here's the background color. Ugh, it was a tough jog. Let's start with squeezing the paint out on the palette. Wow, I love this color. It's like a clear blue sky. The first steps are pretty simple. We'll just apply the paint on the canvas. And then we'll smear it using a wide, flat brush. Easy peasy. This is so relaxing, but I should try to stay focused. Wake up, sleepyhead. Let's move on to the next stage. Finally. Yay, it's my turn to shine. Let me help you, superstar. Susie, a painting knife, please. Thanks. Oh, we're going to use the same technique as for the 3D painting, right? This time, we're mixing different ways. Be prepared for a big surprise. Let's make paint smudges with the painting knife. for my secret art weapon. This doesn't look like a flower at all. Take this and move your hand in spiral circles. You'll be amazed. Huh, it already looks like a rosebud. Told you, you'd be amazed. My ideas are always the best when you do everything right. Someone here likes to brag. Okay, let's enjoy the process then. Give us a thumbs up if you like this technique. We have rosebuds, but no leaves. This won't do. Let's draw some green leaves around, alternating between big and small sizes. Check this out. Sammy has been drawing some leaves, too. Yeah, I don't want to forget my artistic skills. Wait, Susie, I have an awesome idea. I will be quick, I promise. Okay, here we go. Achoo! Oopsie, I guess I ruined the painting. Actually, it turned out great. Sammy, you're rocking today. See? Even my mistakes lead to genius results.
doll parties. They're the things of legends. Oh, there's Barbie. I remember inviting Sam and Sue, but where are they? Finally, you're here. Yes, Barbie, and we have a present for you. Happy birthday. Wow. Thank you so much. That's not all. Look over there. We worked really hard on this one with Sue. This is the perfect spot for them. Thanks, you guys. But I have something for you, too. What is it? Mm. Whoa! Um, is that a cake? Sammy is so funny. He's so funny. Hello, everyone! Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pad! It's the perfect place for a party! So... Let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! Yeah. All right then, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! Here we go! We're gonna have a party, and look who I've invited, the shakes and squares! He's so excited, all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Let's get party, everybody party. It's great to see you, my friends. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Mm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? Come on, Mini Makers. Over here, my friends. Now, have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party's going to be about today. Yes, and I'll give you one last clue. <laughs> Look at that. What is it, everyone? Banana skin. That's right, it's an old banana skin. So, my friends, what's our party going to be about today? Rubbish! That's right, we're going to have a brilliant rubbish party where we recycle things as well. Yeah! Wow! Robo scraps. <laughs> Robo scraps. What a great way to recycle all of those old boxes. And now I've got a very important job for you. Can you put this banana skin in the food bin? Thank you, Robo scraps, to the rescue. <laughs> hey! So let's think of some brilliant rubbish things to use in our arty party picture. What should we use, Mini Makers? Paper. Googly eyes, pipe cleaners, plastic things, pom poms. What should we stick them down with? Glue glue! Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. In fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get arty at our party and make the ultimate colourful rubbish picture by recycling odds and ends that would normally be thrown away. But first, we'll need some things from... The Doodle Team! That's right! <laughs> we'll need scraps of coloured tissue paper, straws and leftover wrapping paper. Coloured card, glue, pom-poms and pipe cleaners. A toy bike. No doodle tube. We're recycling today. We're not cycling. Nice try. <laughs> and we'll need all sorts of arty bits and bobs. <laughs> OK, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, first thing we're going to do is bring in some background paper or card. You can use any colour you like, but today I think this nice blue will work really well. 
And now we're going to decorate this card with some recycled rubbishy things. I'm going to start off with some tissue paper here. And I think it might work well to just very carefully tear it into strips of different sizes. There we are. Now, stick them down. Glue all the way along. And now, Alexander, can you pass me a piece of tissue, please? Thank you very much. It looks good if you scrunch it up a bit before you stick it down. And it doesn't matter if the ends of the tissue paper hang over the end of the card. Keep sticking down more tissue paper in a crisscross pattern like this. You don't just have to stick down tissue paper. You can stick anything you like, even wrapping paper. Look at that, all those spots. It looks nice, doesn't it? What should we stick on next? Straws! I'm just going to flatten this down, glue all the way along the straw, and then you can stick it down. You can use as many straws as you want. And now we can add anything we like to our picture. Here we are. I'm going to go for a cake case first, I think. Glue in the middle, and then we can stick it down. Uh, I think there'll be good. Is there a star there, Sophie? Yes. Ah, wonderful. Thank you very much. And how about something unusual? There's a spoon. And now we can add anything we like to our picture. Anything at all. Let's stick a final star on now, and our picture is finished. Do you like that, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm really glad that you like it, because now it's time for you to make your own arty party picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Arty apron! That's right! Yeah! Because it's time to... Start the art! <laughs> this isn't a rubbish picture. This is brilliant. Angel, what's your favourite thing about your picture? My favourite thing is the big pom-pom in the middle. Oh, I think you're right. It looks like a red nose. And how did you stick it down? With some sticky glue. Well, I think that's a great idea. Grab some sticky glue and stick some more things down onto your picture. Well done, Angel. I wonder, has anyone else been inspired by rubbish? Let's find out. Andy Warhol was a famous artist who lived in America. He wore a wig and glasses to make himself stand out from the crowd. Stylish! Some people think that when Warhol was eating his lunch one day, he had a brilliant idea. Soup! He loved to eat soup. In fact, it's thought that he loved soup so much he told people he ate it for lunch every day. Ha! Ah, super! And as he loved art and loved soup, he decided to make a picture. A little bit like this. He then added another 31 cans. This is one of Andy Warhol's most famous pictures, made up of 32 cans of soup. This style of art is called pop art, and you could say that he recycled his cans of soup to make one of his most famous pop art pictures. Oh, that reminds me. I must pop art to the shops to get more soup. <laughs> Fantastic. In fact, that was super. Now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. <laughs> this is brilliant, Shelby. What picture have you made? I've made a suitcase. And I really love the top here. Is this a handle? Yes. Keep making, my friend. This is brilliant. Sophie has made a great picture here. What's your favourite thing about your picture? 
Uh, I like the bit which I've got a pom pom and then a car on top, and then I added a small pipe cleaner which had blue sparkles all over it. Well, it looks super and very sparkly, and that, Sophie, is very good parking. <laughs> Bakari, what's in the corner of your picture here? It's a pink sun. Wow. And how did you make the pink sun? I used a yogurt pot and some scrunched up paper for a smile. Brilliant. Well, I am smiling, Bakari, because that is a great picture. But that's a funny noise, it sounds like. Snoring. Someone is asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? The Shapes! That's right, it's The Shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three! Wake up! Spin around, spin around, in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air, triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at these two pictures. How many differences can you spot? One. Two. Three. Four. That's right, there are four differences. That was fantastic, Rectangle. It's time to get back on the show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello, friends. I want to draw something, but I don't know what. Sammy, any ideas? Oh, I know. Roger, you should draw a unicorn. Whee! A unicorn? Sounds great, but I don't have any paper. Captain Sam is ready for takeoff. I hope I don't get travel sick. There must be something I can do. Sam? I'm going into land. I wish I brought a parachute. Look out below. This is going to be a bumpy one. Finally, our paper delivery has arrived. <laughs> it's time to get creative. I'm going to draw a beautiful unicorn and a rainbow. Slick Slime Sam has done it again. I'm Roger's muse, one and only. Ha ha, actually this unicorn was my inspiration and I'm just getting started. I'll go over the pencil with a black pen. This will help my unicorn stand out. I'll take my time. I don't want to make any mistakes, you know. Wow, what a long tail. Now I'll outline the moon and the stars. Nice and easy. This is harder than I thought. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. At least my drawing is better than my singing. My unicorn is going to stand on a fluffy cloud. And it will be filled with love hearts. Wow! Okay, the outline is finished. What do you say? Wow, Roger, I'm impressed. It's pretty good. Thanks, Sam. That means a lot. I said pretty good, not awesome. You need to add a splash of color. Here you go. You're right, Sam. I'll fill in the rainbow first. That's where unicorns get their magic from. This is looking better already. What color's next? Ah, orange. That's right, I better stay in the lines. You know, I heard there was a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. That would be awesome. Maybe it'll suddenly appear. I'd be rich then. I'm happy just being an artist, especially when I get to draw something like this amazing unicorn. Do you know where rainbows come from? 
They're actually made when the sun shines through water in the sky. It's pretty amazing, but the best part? They look breathtaking. Excuse me, unicorn. I don't want to mess up your hair. There, my rainbow is finished. What do you think, Sam? Wow, it's amazing and looks so real. Give us a thumbs up if you agree. What's next, my little muse? Let's make those stars shine like the diamonds they are. Take this, yellow. Oh, I know, I look chic. <laughs> You're so humble, Sam, as always. Let's fill in the stars. I can't forget about the moon. Only a few more to go, and the night sky will be complete. Wait, but what about the unicorn, Roger? What color is it going to be? It's all under control, Sam, trust me. I've got all the colors we need. Are you sure? You know it needs to be the most beautiful unicorn ever. We can't fail. Relax, Sam, it's all under control. First, we need to color the clouds. Let's color them a light pink, just like cotton candy. Mmm, yummy cotton candy. This is making me hungry. I should make sure I don't color the hearts. I'll do them later. Let's leave one cloud empty. I want to use a different color on that. This one will be purple, because the unicorn is casting a shadow. I'm having the best time, and it's all thanks to Sam. Do you like it so far? These 3D glasses make everything seem so realistic. <laughs> Are you okay, Sammy? Maybe you should take it easy. You don't need to hurt yourself. In the meantime, I'll color the hearts red. I mean, what else are they going to be, right? I'm sure the unicorn will love it. Ha! Get it? Hmm, maybe there's a reason Sam does the comedy on the show. I'd better just stick to the artistic side of things. I'm feeling adventurous. Let's use a different color for some of the hearts. Wow, this is getting better and better. Just look at our drawing, Sammy. Oh, it can only! You did this, Roger! Huh, maybe I underestimated you. You're a natural. Uh, thanks, Sam. I suppose I do have talent. Maybe I should do this professionally. I was just being nice. Anyway, back to my drawing. I'll color in the night sky. There's nothing better than gazing at the beautiful stars and moon. This is actually the perfect color. I don't want to miss this spot. That's more like it. Is it time to color the unicorn? You could use this yellow to do that. Excellent choice, Sam. It's just what I was thinking. I wish I could meet a real live unicorn. That would be so cool. I wonder what unicorns eat. Probably lots and lots of candy. <laughs> oh, they're so lucky. My dentist gets mad when I eat candy. I'll color the hooves purple. One more hoof to go. Yeah. Aren't you forgetting something, Raj? What about the tail? Thanks for reminding me, Sam. This is the fun part. I'm going to use different colors for this. I want it to be bright and vibrant. After all, my unicorn deserves it. Now it's time for her flowing mane. It'll look like a mini rainbow. Who needs a trip to the beauty salon when you have colored pens, right? What shampoo does she use? I would love to look this good. The last time I saw hair like this, Sam was wearing a wig. <laughs> I'll take it nice and slow here. One slip of the pen and it's all ruined. And nobody wants that. It's time for the horn. Did you know that unicorn actually means one horn? I'll make her ears light red. I bet that tickles. Next, let's color her eyes with a thin black pen. Looking good. I want to see, I want to see. Whoa, are you kidding me? That is a masterpiece. Really? Thanks, Sam, but I'm not finished yet. I'll use a darker shade to create shadows. This will really make a difference. You see, that really took it to the next level. I'll add the shadowing around the neck and jaw. Let's do the same with the tail. It's like the moonlight is shining down on her. Sometimes I surprise myself. Wait until Sue sees this. It'll blow her mind. She loves unicorns even more than me. 
I'll add shadows to the mane too. Maybe I should grow my hair just like this. It would really suit me. I would look glorious. Are you for real? Let's keep the flowing locks on the unicorn. Anyway, I'm impressed, Roger. This drawing belongs in a gallery or something. The Mona Lisa is like a stick figure compared to this. I mean it. Ready to take it to the next level, Sammy? I'll put glitter glue on the stars. This will make them shimmer. I'll even put glue on the moon. This is such a great idea. It'll be the best drawing ever. I need to be careful and not glue myself, though. This looks beautiful, but really sticky. Let's make the unicorn's tail sparkle. This will make her seem even more magical. Hey, did you know that when unicorns burp, they shoot out rainbows? Ha ha, okay, I might have made that up. But here's a cool unicorn fact. Unicorns are actually the national animal of Scotland. It's true, Sam told me. We'll make these hearts shine too. Next, we need to make these clouds glitter. I mean, they've got a unicorn walking on them after all. Wow, it's wonderful. Amazing. Ooh, I could look at it all day. So magical. We need to give her a name, Roger. Yeah, Princess Buttercup, the magical unicorn. I've had the best time today, friends, and it's all because you were here with us. Thanks for joining. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for even more fun. Bye, everyone.